Holy shit, I've just been sitting through like the longest load screen ever. It's been like five minutes. I've just been watching this screen waiting for the game to begin. Holy shit. Uh, nothing much happening right now. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Salwan, hello to every one of you, my subscribers, especially. I love you guys, totally. Hearts out to you guys. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This game looks really weird. Uh, there's a new update to law replay recently, and that looks like it's causing some <laughs> some difficulties. This should be interesting. It should definitely be an interesting game. Anyway, today we are playing Riven. Riven is one of those really fun champions who are absolutely overpowered. Uh, I believe she was nerfed recently. I don't know. Uh, she doesn't seem nerfed to me. I did this game and I absolutely fucking destroyed people. So, she doesn't seem nerfed to me, although people said she was. So, I don't know. Anyway. The runes I'm using right now is, I think it's 13 AD, 17 armor, and 13 resistance. Something like that, whatever. And I'm using uh, 21 offense, 9, nine defense uh, skill tree. With the points in, I think it's health, uh, magic resist, and armor. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, the reason why I'm using these... I'm against 6, and I knew that I would be against 6 from the get-go, because I saw the picks, obviously, duh. Uh, however, I picked those because they have Lee Sin jungle, and Lee Sin really can get on your ass. So I wanted to be safe from ganks, because I'm, I'm not really that fearful of 6. I mean, 6 is a really strong champion at the moment, but still, he, he's not that strong, especially if he doesn't get fed, and if I can keep him from getting fed, then, yeah, I win the lane. Anyway, Sunday let me explain evening. my first buys. I buy boots, four pots, four pots because Nocturne starts blue. So I don't have to pull for him. So I can sit here and wait for another pod. Another pod means I have 150 health extra in lane and that helps me out greatly. Anyway, these guys are absolutely f flipping crazy going to invade now. Uh, I did say don't invade and that's because they have... Let's quickly look at this. They have a Nivea, Lee Sin, Six, Graves, and Soraka. So they have Graves Q, Six Q, uh, Six Q, yeah, Six Q, Lee Sin Q, and a Nivea Q. Nivea Q stuns, and Lee Sin does massive damage. Same with the Graves, and same with Six. So they can insta gib any one of our champions. So I didn't really want to invade them. Uh, wow, this lol replay thing is really buggy right now. That's kind of weird. Let's see how it goes when we get to laning part. <coughs> I wanted to do a, a, a an aftercast or a whatever a commentary over one of these games because the last few uploads to my channel have been from the live stream and if you haven't checked out the live stream fuck you I don't like you anymore even if you are a subscriber of mine I don't like you if you don't check out my live stream go subscribe to it damn it the link will be in the description just go like subscribe to it or follow it whatever and when you see me go online just join in and join IRC or whatever and just talk to me I like it. It's fun. Anyway, enough about that. Trying to make them back off. This really seems like fraps. Uh, no, lol replay is really messed up right now. This looks so weird. Is it slowed down or something? I don't know. Seems like a lot of time has passed. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. The hell is up with this timer? Now I just reset to one minute. <laughs> This is really weird. Anyway, whatever. Uh, going into this game, I find rather safe. We got Misfortune against Graves. Uh, Soraka. Misfortune is really great because her W increases attack speed and also reduces healing by 50%. Which is awesome. So against Soraka, that's a really great Minions lane. Have spawned. And we have Nocturne Jungle, which is just awesome. We got Victor mid, and I believe that Victor is probably a right, right around the point where he's actually viable now. After nerfs and buffs and whatever he's been getting, he should be about good at this point in time. So I didn't really mind having him on the team. And we got me, and I'm just insanely awesome, so yeah, there's that. It seems like the timer is fixed again now, what the fudge is up with this? Anyway. Uh, I'm wondering why six. I think this guy is an absolute noob. He has boots, one pot. I don't get it. 
I really don't get it. Maybe it's been doing something with them. I don't know. Anyway, just going in there. Sears wins lanes. So we're going to get the Sears. Now, he's going to be hitting me a bit because he's ranged. But I'm not really scared of that. Like, I think his ranged is affected by his AD. Uh, his AP. Uh, at least some of them are. Every 12 seconds someone is affected by magic damage, whatever. I don't really know, I haven't read up on 6, I haven't actually checked out his uh, the skill tree. I've been watching him on streams and whatnot, and just seeing just more or less what he does and I'm not really that scared of him. Uh, anyway, I start out with Q because it's a gap closer, it helps me see us and it helps me get away if I get ganged early. Now, as you can see there, in between every single... Uh, Q. When you use Q, you want to hit them with Q, hit them with auto, hit them with Q, with auto, with Q, with auto. And as you can see there, just fl finishing it up with Ignite, just to make sure that he dies. So, yeah, that worked really, really well. I think he used Blink, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, I believe he did. We'll s we'll figure it out. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. We get the first blood real early. Mid lane loses to a gank. It doesn't really matter. At this point, like, that's even. I get first blood, so we're ahead still. Anyway, I just want to push this lane to his tower that I can base. And bah, me some stuff. I like basing. Anyway, when I level, when I skill up Aurelia, I skill Q, W, E, and then I just dump points into W. W is your main damage output and the skilling up and it reduces the cooldown which is absolutely awesome. It's just awesome. After that you max Q and then you max E. E scales with attack damage so the more attack damage you have the more shield you will get which is awesome. Anyway of course you level up your ultimate as fast as possible. So 6 Lane will be pushing soon. I'm gonna let get Nocturne know. Whenever you can tell your jungler that there is a good gank, you can get a free kill here. Do it. As we can see here, he had an, an uh, a melee minion up while all my melee minions were dead, so I know his lane is gonna be pushing. So I just let my jungler know his lane is gonna be pushing, and I just sit back a little bit, and let his lane push. Because if his lane starts to push, he has to come to m towards me, and that means he's had to go past this brush, brushy thingy, brushy thingy. Anyway, I picked up the vamp scepter because auto hitting heals me. I picked up the null magic mantle because I'm against an AP top lane, so the less damage I take, the better. Anyway, I don't want to give it away too much that Nocturne is here, so I just try to zone him a bit, then go back to see us. Now he's overextending, and we ha we can go on it. So, just Q up to him, then use the W to stun, and then just, well, he's dead. Actually, Nocturne fucks up there, so I just use my flash to get the kill. If I get the kill, I get stronger in lane. If Nocturne gets the kill, he just gets stronger. And I want to get stronger in lane. I don't care, bitch. Anyway, just reducing the health of these, because his lane is pushing really, really hard at this point. And that's a good thing, because this means that when he gets it back in lane, I can zone him. I'm so far ahead at this point. So I can absolutely just zone him in lane. But I don't want his lane to push too hard. If it pushes too hard, I'll be sitting at my tower CSing. And that is not what I want to achieve at this point. I want to be able to just have my minions hold up his minions long enough for me to CS without his lane getting pushed back. Really fail that CS right there, but whatever. So, as you can see now, he has a lot of cast minions. His lane is automa automatically going to be pushing now. So I just kill a few of them, and let the rest of them push again. So, his lane is pushing still. At least it should be. He's got two melee minions, I got one. Now it's one to one. Well, he, he lost the cast minion. Whatever, you get the point. I hope, I hope you get the point. I'm just waiting for Ziggs. I call SS because it's a while since he went home. So he should be back by now. So I call SS just to make sure that he doesn't gank the other lanes. Now he returns. And now I want to push the advantage. I'm level 6, he's level 5. I have a huge advantage. I just want to push him away from experience. The less experience and CS he gets, the stronger I am in lane. And as you can see, he used his, his, mat his mana and ranged abilities in order to get the CS 
So his lane is still pushing. I can just sit back and enjoy. Now I just want to be making sure that he doesn't get experience. If he gets close enough, he can get experience. So just want to make sure he doesn't. So I just keep pushing him away. Do the damage with my QW. Push him away, then go back. He's losing experience every second that goes by. Obviously not. Every time a minion dies, but that's pretty much every second. As you can see, minion just died. He didn't get experience for that. This minion is going to die. Ah, uh, he got an experience range, I think. Anyway, you get the basics. I'm ahead in lane. I have the stronger champion, so I can make sure he doesn't get experience. If he doesn't get experience, I'll stay stronger and I'll get even more strong than he is. That way I will have complete lane control and I'll win the game. So, just CSing back and forth at this point is 2 to 1. With me having the only kills in the in the game on my team that is. And Anivia having the kill on their team. Just nice and easy. Just chilling out top. This is like the thing I love the most about top lane. Just Zoning the guy, making sure you get CS. CSing is fun if you do it right. Calling SS because I can't see him. He was still there though. Anyway, I know I can get to him here. So I just push him. I just want to push him out of lane. His minions are killing my minions. If he's here, and this minion dies, he doesn't get experience. That means I get further ahead and he gets further behind. And that is how you want to win your top lane. You want to create advantages all the time. That's why you gank. Uh, well, that's why you get your lane ganked. I'm level 7 at this point. He's still level 5. He hasn't even hit 6 yet. Just because he cannot come close enough to the creeps to get uh, CS and experience. He can't get money and he can't get experience. I'm level 8. He's still level 5. So keep increasing that lead. I jump on him again. Just keep hitting him. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I d I'm not gonna explain you six abilities. If you wanna see six abilities, go to go to a six guide or whatever. I don't care. I mean, if you should know them, just like basically by watching this, this passive and shit like that, his Q, whatever that is and stuff. So if you wanna know more about him, just go watch a guide on him. Anyway, my lane is gonna be pushing now, so I'm just gonna help it push. Doesn't matter if I try to stop hold it now, it's just gonna push automatically. So I just wanna get in some damage. Try to force him to go base. He gets really low, I get ignite on him and use my ultimate to finish him off. Use well use my ultimate to get him low enough for the ignite to finish him off. Whatever. Anyway, he's dead. All this XP is going to go to waste as well. He is not gonna get any of this XP, and I'm just gonna base and wait for his his uh, lanes to push back. At this point, it's 3-3, three three. I have the only kills on the team. So I'm a, I'm a bit worried about the rest of the team at this point. Like, Are they going to be able to do this? I just pick up Bia for this point because I'm against a lane where Riggle's Lantern won't help me. Having armor won't help me. Having the ward would help me, but yeah, I don't really mind getting a ward every now and then. Even if Lee Sin ganks me at this point, I'm so strong. That's not really going to hurt me. Let's have a look. The CS, I got 72 CS at 10 minutes, now not the best ever, but it's damn sure better than, what, 25. So, we're way ahead, I'm like 50 CS ahead, and I'm 3 kills ahead. I'm really strong at this point. So, I just want to take it easy, just want to, I came down to see if we would do Dragon. Didn't look like we would. Their bot lane is pushing, so they can respond, and our team cannot. So, I just went back to top. Just gonna get some more farming, warding up the river. And then I just wanna see if he'll overextend. I'm waiting here to see if he will follow the minions up to my minions up here. If he doesn't, I'll just go CS. Simple as that. If he overextends a little bit, I jump on him. I just wanna get in some damage, I wanna make sure that he doesn't come near the minions. He's still level 6, I'm level 9. I have a feeling this is a really, really boring commentary. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Who gives a fuck? Anyway, his lane is pushing again. I'm gonna let it. Wow, this is a really boring commentary. If it's not, please let me know. But it feels to me like it's really boring. <laughs> Holy shit, it's so dry. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, Six coming back up here. It gives me a chance to go in and get some damage. I see Lee Sin, but I'm not scared. I'm not scared of Lee Sin. I have 
superior damage by far. Anyway, <laughs> Six getting caught by my ultimate. Lee Sin suddenly realizes he can't do this shit, so I double kill him. This is how strong I am at this point. They have no fucking chance. And then my team is all like, well, you're gonna win the game. Don't be so sure of that. Because if you feed bot lane, I mean, I will be strong. This is fucking driven. She has massive fucking damage. But still, like, if they feed too hard, that won't help us. So just, like, make sure they know not to feed. Say, so not yet. Just making sure that they won't be all like, yeah, whatever, we'll just. Uh, la, 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 and cost us the game. Anyway, I just take the tower. Because, like, whatever. I'm so far ahead. Doesn't even matter if he gets this CS. I just want to get the tower down and give my team some global gold. Global gold as a win. Where the hell did my thingy go? Oh well, whatever. I hope it doesn't burn somewhere. Maybe it does. We'll we'll figure out. If I start screaming all of a sudden, it's because I'm I lost the uh, the tip of my cigarette, whatever thingy. Whatever, whatever. Anyway, now my my top lane is pushing, and he he can <laughs> he doesn't really want to push it back. He's just freezing the lane more or less. So I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I'll go help bot lane, or I'll go do dragon, doesn't matter. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna go bot lane. And, uh, as we can see, 13 minutes into the game, Misfortune has boots of speed. What the fuck? Anyway, I just come down through the river, wanna gank. You can see they're trying to back. Garak, Tarek keeps them, in, keeps them in lane. Just pop my ultimate, get in there, stun them up, do the damage. Blink Ignite for the win. And I'm like, you can't hurt me, bitch. Yeah, there we go. And now, dragon time. Their jungler is dead, their healer is dead. Just go to jungle. If Graves comes, he's dead. Doesn't even matter if Misfortune has no items, he's dead anyway. So, do dragon, free dragon. After getting two more kills, 7 0 oh, 0 oh, at the moment. I should be like a real commentator just instead of doing YouTube videos because this is so dry. Dry is, is fine for commentary, <laughs> but whatever. Whatever. You guys will have to deal with it. Anyway, see they're gonna get him there? Now just go in there. Yeah, baby. Help them out. Give them that nice damage. Boom. My first assist of the game. That cloud. That my cloud. Anyway, back top lane. Just push that shit out. I want to get the last bit of gold for my uh, for my giant's belt. More HP blocks. Yeah. I wonder if those stacks are correct. They probably are because I bought the uh, thing right before I went down to gank top lane. I'm just going back top, pushing that shit back down to his turret. And just making sure I get enough money for the giant's belt. At this point, I'm too strong. Like, 15 minutes into the game, I have Giant Spell, Boots, Bloodthirster, and Ruby Crystal. I can 1 versus 3 them, no problem. So, this game is pretty much 1, but if we start feeding one of them really hard, we can still lose. But this 6, this 6 got fucking dominated in the lane. It's a new champion, it's hard to play, and when you play it against something that's strong against you, you're gonna get fucked. You're gonna get real fucked. So, yeah, I'm feeling kinda. Kind of securing this win at this point again. Anyway, I want Tarek to stun Soraka here, just because if he stuns Soraka, they both die, or at least she dies 100%. The stun comes out wrong target. Anyway, I just pop up my ultimate, go in there. I'm tanky as fuck. I don't care. Lee Sin kicking me around. I don't care. Just doing the damage, bitch. Killing graves, killing graves, get in the red, get in the red. Now it's time to kill Lee Sin. Just making sure I'm keeping up with him. Stunning him because I want the kill. Damn it, he gets double kill, whatever. I'm really fed. <laughs> it doesn't matter. 8 0 and 2, baby. 
Wow, this is like the most boring commentary ever. I hope you can live with it. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, six hitting me. I'm not really scared of six. If I hit him once, I have full health. So whatever. Hit me, bitch. I just want to take the tower. I want to give more global gold to my team. I want the tower, bitch. Wow, and he misses his bomb. Give me the tower. And actually, I tried to use my Q through the tower, but apparently it doesn't work like that. So I just, I just chose, choose to back off. Actually, I got the red earlier. I got the red when I ganked the last time, I think. Maybe, perhaps. I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? Anyway, I'm just backing home. So pick up my regrowth pendant, and then I'm going to save up for uh, armor. I don't really know why I'm saving up for armor, but then again, this 6 has no absolutely no damage. Their Anivia has absolutely no damage. Their Graves and their Lee Sin are the only damage dealers on their team at this point. So I suppose the Chain Vest is, is a pretty decent purchase. Anyway, what does this do? Increase attack damage with shears. What ifs? What ifs? Anyway, this game is over. I hope you, en <laughs> you, you enjoyed it. Whatever. I'll keep talking through the rest of it. Just want to say my goodbyes. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please leave it a like or a favorite. It helps me out. Makes me happy. It actually really makes me happy. So do it. Do it. And uh, go check out my, my live stream. Go follow that, Cheers. There will be a link in the description. Go follow it so you know when when I'll be... <laughs> this looks awesome. When I'll, be, uh, when I'll be live. So you can catch me. And uh, yeah. Just gonna finish this shit up. Just going back to the farm top. Almost got full stack to my bloodthirster. Yeah. Anyway. I just tried to see if six was there. It wasn't. He just stays well clear of top lane. I'm a little bit scared. Because they are five people in mid. And this guy is just absolutely like... I don't give a damn. I'll kill y'all. And I don't want to fight five people. I don't know where six is, so I'm just going to stay well back. Like, they're all five mid. I don't want to fight that shit. So I'm just going to go the safe route back. Don't really want to stop him. If I stop him, there's still five people mid. I just want to push that shit. Get the last out of turret. You're getting in some damage. Dodging that Q like a mouse. Too predictable. Doing absolutely no damage to me. I got 125 armor and 92 match resist. Just because I dinged, obviously. That's pretty damn decent. On top of my 216 attack damage. At 20 minutes into the game, I'm like a tanking, damage dealing machine with lifesteal. Just doing the damages. Just want to do the damages. Yeah. Bot lane pushing. I want to get that red. And uh, Nocturne being a true boss lets me. This guy is cool. I like this arrest guy. He seemed like a real guy. A real guy, not not one of those fake guys. What a Let me rift, pretty please. Thanks. Tarek bought money stackers. <laughs> triple triple GP five, best build ever. I could probably fight like solo against three people at this point. I'm pretty sure I could, but I don't want to. I'm scared. I never take chances when I play ranked games. Because if I don't carry this game, I'm, be I'm pretty sure we'll lose. I've been involved in 11 of our 13 kills. That's quite a lot. If I didn't do that, we would be even. No, we would actually be a kill behind, so... You have to carry when you do this, yes. 
And I'm not gonna report six. Like, why would I report six? Makes no sense. Six hasn't tried to feed or tried to lose the game. He just doesn't know how to play the champion and he got outpicked or outmatched. I'm not gonna report people for that. I was like, reporting people for unskilled player doesn't get people banned. There's no point in doing it. Anyway, I'm just farming up the gold in order to get my uh, my warm marks. Like a mouse. Going back to buy it. Whatever. There's like nothing left to say in this game. There wasn't. There was not much to say in, to begin with. But whatever. A pretty basic build. Pretty basic strategy and whatnot. Whatever. Whatever. Just pushing the lane. I wanted to go back to buy my Walmarts, but apparently I chose to push the lane instead. Trying to get money for both Walmarts and Atmos at the same time. I wonder how much AD I would have gotten up to with Walmarts and Atmos. I think that would have been pretty fucking insane. Like, 300 right there. Maybe even more. Anyway, it looks like the other team wants to fight. I have no problem with that. That pleasing crazy. Damn. Look at those six bombs. Do no damage. 33. Just shielding the tower damage like a boss. Yeah. I hope you check out my live stream whenever I'm streaming. I don't stream that much. I stream like a couple of times a week. Maybe maybe a little bit more, but that's mostly because I got no viewers. Whenever I stream, I get like five to seven viewers. And you know, it's just that's just how it is. 109 fucking Baron buff or debuff, whatever. Anyway, they surrender, we win. GG, well played. So thanks for watching, and until next time, have a good day. Victory.